Uh, some of the stories out here today brought people to tears. Now the uh, fundraiser wrapped up a little while ago, but we were able to talk to the founders of this foundation. Take a listen. When he was three years old, he was diagnosed with leukemia. Diane and Richard Norris miss their son Emilio every day. The toddler battled cancer. The worry and the stress is just unbelievable. What the fear of your child because you can no longer protect him. Sadly, he passed away just before he turned six years old. Talking about it seemed like it was 10 seconds ago, and it's been uh, 16 years. The couple founded the Emilio Norris Foundation in his honor, raising money for low income families whose children are battling cancer. We identified that there was a great need for transportation, that there were children whose families did not even have cars and they were taking buses and trolleys to get to chemo every week. Today, their 16th annual Harvest for Hope fundraiser at Liberty Station. Our very own Carlo Cicchetto was the MC. I am very excited to invite to the stage and proud to invite up to the stage uh, one of our ENF families to share their story. There were tears as families shared their stories. And he was diagnosed with a very rare cancer and immune system. Those who attended today say being a part of this is important. Uh, it's an unimaginable thought as a parent. It's really easy to put yourself in somebody else's shoes that's going through that situation and we want to do as much as we can. Diane and Richard, grateful for the support in this community. Almost everyone has had their life touched by cancer and the brutal truth is that children get cancer too. And every year this uh, fundraiser grows. This year they raised about $350,000. Now they also had about 16 chefs that were out here today donating their food and their time.